Hey everybody, uh, I'm Brian Rigsby. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, SQL and Django. Um, if you don't know, Django is a high-level Python web framework that encourages rapid development and clean, pragmatic design. So basically, you can develop the web with Python, which is pretty sweet. Um, Django uh, is pretty cool. It uses an SQLite database and an ORM, which is an object relational mapper. So instead of uh, writing long SQL queries, it shortens it up for us and does a lot of it for us. And uh, I'll show you kind of the uh, syntax that it uses. And the, uh, C the databases are still written in SQL, but um, Django trans or the ORM translates each row in the table in a table to an instance of a Python class. Uh, with each database field being an attribute of the class. And the ORM also comes with methods that perform the SQL queries for us. So, yeah, so some of the things that you might be used to seeing in SQL are if you wanted to uh, insert an object or uh, something into your table, then this would insert this wizard, Harry, uh, into your table, right? So in Django, using the ORM, we do it like this. We get our wizard object, and we create it just like that. Create name, house, pet, year, whatever, whatever keys you have. And I'll show you the, the actual the tables, how we create them in just a second. Um, so if you wanted to select, this is how you do it in SQL. If you want to do that same thing in Django, you do it just like this. You uh, have your variable right there that you're going to save your object into. You grab up your object. Uh, we're filtering by the object that has the house of Gryffindor here. So you get them right there and then you can do stuff to them like down here. If you want to update, this is how you do it in SQL. You want to change, set the year to six where the ID is one. So we're going to do it here. We're going to grab the wizard with the ID of one, set it to our variable there, and then we're going to set the year to six and we're gonna save it so pretty neat so yeah so now uh, we are in the terminal and we can start a shell just like SQL has a shell there's a shell here in Django and then in this shell so there we go we're active in the shell now um, we can you know update our database run our commands all that stuff like that so uh, we just have to import from our our project we're working on. So this is just my base Django project here, and our models, which I'll explain those in just a second. Okay, that's oh, this base app. Um, so yeah, so if we want to look, I have users and books in this uh, in this thing, this table, or this database, I should say. So if I want to look at all of my users, go like that. So users, objects, all. And then this shows my users. I have myself, and then I have Tom Sawyer right here. So if I wanted to get uh, just the one with the ID of one, save it in my variable here. So I do my user dot objects dot id oops dot get id equals one and then if I want to see my first name look at it like that or whatever you want um, you can get the id of two if I want to change Tom's name to Huck because his best friend's Huck fan then I can get my object again but this time with the ID of two and then I can say first name of him is gonna be Huck so I change his name to Huck and then I can save that and then I can see him again I'll just look at all my objects right here and then you can see that our ID 2 is now changed to Huck. Cool. So yeah, you can do all your queries here. And, you know, that's super fun and all, but 
it's not as fun as doing it in an actual you know web application so I'm gonna get out of the terminal here and I'm gonna run my server right here there we go okay now all right so this is the application that I was just messing with the database in and I have a login page and I also have a register page here but since I've already got old Tom Sawyer here we'll go ahead and just log him in here so it saves in the database you can add a book do whatever you want you can look at the book okay but this is not what you're interested in what you want to know is how does the database work so so in our project here this is my project in VS Code you have your models page which your models are your tables so right here we have a class and this is my class of users so we have our first name our last name our email password Create that, update that, all that good stuff right here as a Python model. And then same thing down here, I have my books. So with these, these are your uh, keys, your table keys, I guess. That's probably the wrong word. But anyway, yep, so that's them there. You're defining your length. This is all just like if you were using uh, MySQL Workbench or whatever it is you're going to use for SQL. Cool. And then in your views, so this for Django, uh, they use an MVT instead of an MVC. So the view is the controller. Um, but anyway, so yep, so in here you can see, uh, for example, right here, we're creating an instance of a book. So this is. You just do book.objects.create, and then you give it your title, you give it your description. Um, this one happens to be a one-to-many uh, relationship, and so you can see back in our model for our books that we have an uploaded by, which is... Sorry, I couldn't oh, quite... Siri's trying to talk to me. Uh, an uploaded by, which is our has our foreign key of our user, which is going to right here, with my little comment, of books uploaded. And so here is where you'll show that relationship instead of, you know, uh, having to do a long join and all that stuff. Django and the ORM handle that for you. So all you got to do is put your uh, re relationship here, which is right here, your related name in there or uploaded by in this case because that's the way the relationship is going and then grab whatever it is that they are related to which in this case I'm grabbing the user with the email that's in session so that's one instance in here that's used um, and then then I'm grabbing the user and then here is where you're making the relationship happen um, so you take the user or the book and you're putting it in the users who liked that book. You're adding that user to the to that list. And then down here you can just save all the the books, all of them into a key here and then use that in your code to run it to make cool stuff happen. But yeah, so uh, all throughout here there's you just grab it up right here in your views, whatever it is that you're wanting to do instead of going to your SQL database or anything like that and it's all handled just right there so yeah so um, it's pretty cool what you can do with Django and the ORM um, it makes it fast and easy and clean and not a lot of crazy long queries with insert and join and left join and right join and self join and all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, so I hope this was helpful.